it's one I've made and it might not be a good choice, but I'm going with it. You got my support. All right. And with that said, we will get on topic here, Jake. We really appreciate you joining us from uh, California and spend, spending some time talking about your exciting opportunity. Um, I would like to just kind of, if you could start by just telling us the timeline of how this all came uh, together for you. And then I'm going to turn it over to questions from everybody on the group, starting with Joey. Sure. Um, so last year, um, the head coach, uh, Detterman, reached out to me. Um, it was in the middle of the season and, and COVID was a whole thing. So he was just bringing up the opportunity to me. I don't remember exactly when or around who we were playing at the time, but um, he brought it up to me and uh, I told him I'd talk to my, my people, my circle and uh, the staff at Illinois and wanted to make sure it was all kosher and, and there were no um, blips about it. And just with communicating with him and throughout the year and setting things up logistically, it, it came to fruition uh, towards the and or right after the season. Great, go ahead, Joey. Hey, Jake, good to see you, man. It's been a while. How, uh, I guess I didn't, there's probably not a lot we don't know about you, but I, I didn't know you were a dual citizen. Uh, can you walk me through like your family ties, I, I guess, to, to Finland and, and kind of how that part of it came together? Sure, um, I've been a Finn the whole time. I was, I've been a dual citizen ever since I was born. Uh, my mom is from Finland, she came here in, uh, I got the whole rundown before this, so I know she came here in, in 1986. Uh, she came here um, as like an exchange program from the University of Helsinki where she like swapped places with a student um, from America. And so that's how she kind of got an opportunity to come here. Came here with one suitcase, met my dad, stayed here. Um, but I've also got ties to my, my grandpa, uh, my mom's dad, his name is Niels Mustaline. He, uh, he came to America in the 50s and went to MIT and and uh, did some really good things in science and is pretty well known in Finland, actually. Um, so through my mom and, and all that, I'm a Finnish citizen. Very cool, man. What, what's it mean for you to have this opportunity to represent that side of your family? And, and A, I mean, it's a pretty cool thing to travel over there and get to be a part of this and immerse yourself in the, the culture and the basketball in that way. Uh, one thing that is pretty interesting is uh, for you guys, it's like a whole nother new side for me. Um, but it, for me, it's 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 one thing. I'm a Finnish African American uh, man. It's it's just an opportunity for me to, I guess, finally show um, who I really am. I would I don't think it's like a, a side thing. Um, as I've grown up, um, as my name is Jacob, I'm I'm Finnish African American. So. Uh, it's, it's nice to, to finally be seen. I don't know, uh, as a, as a, as a more full complete picture as my, my story is kind of, uh, underground all the way up until here. And there's probably still things that, that you guys don't know about me, but as things come to light, more things keep coming up and, uh, I think it's kind of, kind of neat to watch it happen. Sure. Thank you, Jake. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jake. Um, I guess just what are your expectations for this summer? Kind of what do you hope to gain from you know this experience playing with the, the national team? Uh, well, I think the biggest thing, uh, it's just another opportunity and, and life is all about opportunities. Um, so my mindset is I'm going here to get better and represent, represent Finland. Um, and I hope to gain experience and knowledge that'll um, benefit me, benefit Finland while I'm there. And when I come back, benefit Illinois um, in every way I can to win games and uh, make a deeper run in the NCAA tournament and win another Big Ten championship and all that. So um, I'm just a, I'm a sponge going there, just collecting information and uh, coming back and, and hopefully be a better man. Right. Uh, I guess you know, in one instance, you know, basketball is basketball, sort of, but it's there's just little differences, I think, you know, maybe everywhere you play, just are you kind of looking forward to kind of maybe get experience more like kind of the European style? Um, sure. You know, I'm not going to right now say limit right now, sit here and, and limit myself to saying that's what I want to 
um, or that's my goal. Um, but I think in terms of more of a mindset, it's professional basketball rather than collegiate. Um, at the collegiate level, people are getting getting paid at that level. So it's kind of like a, um, a different mindset for players who are needing to feed their families with what they're doing rather than kind of being in the school realm. So in that sense, yes. So I guess, uh, do you speak Finnish? My mom is actually from a uh, part of Finland where they speak Swedish, the uh, um, okay. minor language minority. Um, I don't know the exact percentage, but my mom, my first language was actually Swedish. Uh, when I was a kid, my first couple words were in um, Swedish, but now I haven't practiced it. And if someone was talking to me, I would know exactly what they're saying, but I can't think of it anything myself, except like a couple of little, little phrases. I guess what phrases have you learned? Are they like basketball specific? Just so you can uh, no, talk like, with the guys on the quarter. Like, can I have a cookie? Like, like, little, <laughs> like important things when you're like a little kid in, in, in Finland. That, that, that does sound important. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Hey, Jake, it's good to see you. Uh, maybe on a, a personal level and a life level, what are you hoping to gain out of this experience kind of aside from basketball? Um, it's a good question. I think, huh, ask, your, ask, the, ask it again so I can think because I thought I had something. Like there. aside from the basketball, maybe what are you hoping to learn about, you know, maybe yourself as a person or kind of gain from this to help better yourself as a person? Um, well, personally, I think a lot of things have been happening from basketball to, to uh, family to all the way down the list of all the aspects of what can possibly be happening. And um, I think it's not a, a vacation at all. It's, it's definitely work minded. This is um, going there to handle business. But I think it'll be a nice block of time to kind of take a, a really full deep breath. I think coming home to kind of um, uh, uncoil the season after COVID and, and all these things. And, and this is a part of my, um, career where, where money is on the table, you know, like things need to be, things need to be, um, handled in, in this way and that way. And I need to start making these kind of decisions. So this will be a kind of a nice way for me to kind of be on my own, um, and really just focus solely on basketball and it's all new and new coaches and new perspectives and kind of just, uh, breathe in basketball in a totally new environment that has uh, roots tied to me. So um, I don't know. It's it's a, just a good good feeling about it. Have you ever played in any kind of competition like this before? Uh, no, this is my first time playing for national the national team uh, or anything of of that caliber. And then I know you're a huge fan uh, of your dog. So who's going to be watching your dog when you go overseas? My par my parents got him. Um, he, he he's one of us. He he cool with my folks. Thanks, Jake. Yeah. Hey, Jake. So just looking at some of your background, um, you know, high school prep school, Holy Cross, Illinois. What do you think about the journey you've been on um, to get to this point where now you're able to represent um, a, a country? Uh, I think it's quite something. Um, I don't even think words could, could truly um, express or like lay out um, how almost impossible all of this is. Um, and I hold it pretty dear to my heart, um, kind of the, the rough road that I've traveled. Um, and I always say it makes it that much better, but um, I think it's kind of funny when people ask me like, oh, I didn't know you were finished and, and all that. Uh, and no offense to any reporters, but um, you know, I, I am who I am and I've, I've been who I've been. And, and just like I said before, to kind of watch it unravel and people be like, oh, you can do, oh, you can. Oh, it's kind of funny because I've, I've been doing it the whole time, but um, you know, the limelight just hasn't been on me uh, in that regard. And it just makes me go harder. It's a little bit of my motivation, but um, it is what it is. Yeah, to kind of follow up with what I was going to ask, uh, do you care about that, that type of stuff to, like, be the, I guess, quote, unquote, overlooked one? Um, no, and even if I did, I wouldn't tell you, so you didn't know what I was thinking. <laughs> um, 
But like I said, it, it's a little bit of my motivation to prove people wrong, but I'm not doing it for those people. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing it for myself and um, more so all the people who did believe in me um, coming up, the, the select few. Um, but at the end of the day, all I got to do is hoop. All I got to do is go to Finland, play basketball, come back. All I got to do is listen to Coach Underwood, play basketball. Um, and that's been working pretty well so far. Last one for me. How often have you been back to Finland um, just over the years? Uh, I used to go all the time. Uh, we used to go um, to Europe all the time. I've probably been to Finland five, six times. Uh, but I stopped going once basketball kind of got serious in the summers and middle schoolish uh range so i haven't been in a while thank you yep. hey jake so obviously coach underwood has a pretty good appreciation for international basketball just based off of the players he's recruited in his time at illinois uh so what were your conversations like with him i guess about playing in an international tournament what kind of things did he mention that could be positives for you as playing in this kind of international thing uh, me and coach Underwood had a had a real brief 15 minute meeting uh, about it and he had nothing bad to say about it he was all for it he even we I mean we knew what the meeting was about because um, I'd been telling him about it it wasn't like I brought it up um, I think he like opened up saying first I think it's a great thing for you to go like we want you to go um, and it really wasn't too complicated it was just go there handle your business and that's it. Simple. So I know you're kind of going to have to miss off-season workouts because of this. So are you concerned about anything that you may miss? Or do you think that, you know, going over here and playing in this international tournament is going to help you come back with just better conditioning, a greater understanding of the game and how you can incorporate things you learn over there into your game here to help Illinois on the court? Or are you kind of, I guess, afraid of what you might miss out on? Uh, not afraid at all. Um, because the off season, uh, when we get here for this uh, little part, is kind of testing people's work ethics, and my work ethic is there. Um, since I've been home, I've, I've woken up every single day at 4 a.m. Uh, I get three workouts in before noon, um, and I'm done. So I'm not worried about missing out on anything. Uh, I'm in communication with uh, our coaches and Fletch, and I'll be communicating what I'm doing there and sending it to them and what I need to add. Um, so I don't think I'm missing anything at all uh, that is instilled in me. Um, and I'll just be getting an opportunity to, to do a lot of things I didn't get to do this last year uh, in terms of what my role was, um, which is OK. But there's a lot, a lot more to me in my game than people have been able to see. Um, so it'll be a real nice chance for me to kind of be a little bit more unleashed uh, for a new person to come back. Um, and show everybody that. Do you, are you comfortable commenting on the area of your game that Illini fans haven't seen and maybe give them a preview, I guess, of what they could see next year? Well, I'm comfortable, but uh, everybody is going to just have to, to tune in and watch. Thanks, Jake. Really appreciate your time. Yep. I think because you have a degree in environmental, uh, making the world better, generally, you're probably aware that the Olympics, apart from being athletics, uh, an international peace and fellowship mission, basically, uh, uh, have goals specifically that have anything to do with Finland and America. Do you have uh, a general world international relations goal? Uh, no, I mean I'm I'm very well versed in 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 world, um, world events, but right now I'm in basketball mode uh, and I don't watch TV, I don't watch the, the news. I, I go to the gym, come home, eat, take a nap, eat, play with my dog, <laughs> think about basketball. It's, I'm, in, uh, I'm in basketball mode for, for a while here. And do we know what the actual schedule is for you? you know? In terms of uh, like when I'm leaving, when I'm coming back? Yeah, and all the practices and, and where they are and that kind of stuff. Um, I'm flying out tomorrow uh, to Helsinki. Uh, we're training there for like a week, week and a half. Flying to Tokyo. Uh, we're doing like a training camp 
bubble something there for about a week. And then that following week in Okinawa, we have a, um, three games on July 7th, July 9th, and July uh, 11th. Uh, and then that's it. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, and we're playing uh, Belgium, J Belgium, Japan, and Lithuania, I believe. Could be wrong about it. It might be someone else, but. Watch out for Lithuania. They're good. We're good. <laughs> Jake, I'm curious. Do you, like, do you have friends on, on the team? Like, who, I just, you know, it's a long time to, to travel over there. Do you have anyone that you're going to be, like, hanging out with frequently that you've got any sort of lengthy relationship with? Uh, no, not at all. There's, I know there's a couple American players, um, like college players on the team there. Uh, but I, I, I don't know anybody. This will be all new people, all new everything. Is that something you feel like you, you thrive in, that, that environment to meet a group of, of new people? Are there any nerves? Like, I'm going to be over here. You know, I, I don't really know how many people I'm going to gonna know and, and be able to hang out with. Or, uh, No, nah, it's, it's not summer camp. You know, it's not like, oh, I hope I make up friends with everybody. I mean, I'm sure everybody will be cool. We all got the same goal. Uh, but it's, it's totally business. We're, um, we're going there to to train together, get, get everybody better, uh, represent Finland, win games. It's uh, straight, straight like that. The last thing is, it's a long flight. What's the point? I mean, I'm sure you're going to sleep maybe at some point on the flight, but you got any plans to pass, what's that, 14 hours in, in an airplane? Yeah. Um, sleep as much as I can. My brother's been trying to get me to watch uh, some anime shows, so I'll have to download some episodes of that. And he's actually coming, too. My brother's playing on the U. Uh, 20 team so my brother will be coming with me but we're on two different kind of schedules uh, where we're not playing together or practicing together but he's playing and coming as well. We guys generally be in the same area like it's a schedule the same way you'd be in you know the same like be able to stay together or? Uh, we're in the same hotel different rooms uh, he and his team is going to Estonia where I'm going to Japan so we're going to be with with each other for like a week week and a half before we go our own ways. Oh, cool. Hey, thanks, Jake. I appreciate it. Have fun, man. Thank you. Hey, Jake, I just had a follow-up. I mean, you said it's been a while since you've been back to Finland. I just, what do you remember about your trips there when you were younger? I mean, what are some things you, know, you liked about it, maybe you're looking forward to, if you've got a moment yeah, outside of basketball to, to see you again? The last time I was there was actually for my grandma's funeral. Uh, and I kind of got a funny story about myself. Uh, my mom told me that every kid uh, has to put their tongue on a pole. Um, like it's like a tradition, like you have to do it like as kind of a joke. And so on the way to the funeral, I had a white uh, button down suit on and I put my tongue on the pole. Uh, I ripped it off. My tongue was bleeding all over my, all over my shirt on the way to my grandma's funeral. Um, so that's the last thing I remember about uh, Finland. But besides that, it's really nice. I know the uh sun doesn't set for like a day when i'm there like it's a midsummer like it's it's light for for almost 48 hours or something like that so it'll be it'll be neat to kind of be in a different like zone i don't even know what you call that but it's a beautiful country uh, i got family out there um so i got thanks mm shake -hmm. All right, Jake, we really appreciate you uh, taking time. We know it's going to get really busy for you. So this is awesome information and very helpful for everybody to hear what's going down for you this summer. Take some pics and put them up on your account while you're over there so we can all see, and then we'll catch up with you when you get back on campus, okay? Cool. Sounds good. Appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. Thank you.